Good morning, Dobro Greetings from Ilmena to Saborosche or wherever you <laughs> join our session. Yeah, I want to show you some so-called uh, interactive learning modules we are using for the design within our remote lab. Goldie, here is a web page from our uh, remote lab. Goldie, can you can you see it? Yeah. Yes. Okay. And uh, if you have any questions, please interrupt me so we can discuss it like a workshop. Yeah. Uh, GoldieLabs.net is a, is a website. Uh, I use my university login here, but you can uh, register. You. With my password. So this is uh, the homepage. I have looked in and I can show you the structure of our of our uh, remote lab. Maybe some of you uh, have seen uh, this slide. Our remote lab is organized as a as a cloud structure the the main web server is running in our university in Ilmenau. but we have uh, actually we have 10 instances worldwide in ukraine Zaporozhye, kiev and so on armenia georgia and one instance in australia in Toowoomba, and next year one um, instance in uh, Germany, in, in Zwickau. Yeah, within the Goldie Clark, we offer some some tools. Some of these tools, I will I will show you how we can use this tool uh, for the design of our control uh, tasks. I will switch to the website. For that, we can start an experiment. I will choose uh, Ilmenau. And here you can see we have on the one hand a number of control units for a more, more software oriented design. You can choose microcontrollers for a more hardware oriented design. You can choose uh, PLCs for uh, PLDs, FPGAs, or for hardware and software independent design, you can choose finite state machines, as well as some for industrial designs, um, PLC. This is from uh, Siemens. This is uh, a click tell is from another company to finally control some electromechanical hardware models in our remote lab here you can see some of these models the three axis portal elevators production cell water level controls high storage warehouse so let's start with a very simple example. I use this in the first semester when I teach finite state machines. This is a, uh, you, you cannot see, I must shift it to this. Uh, this is the task we have. We have the three axis portal and the task is to move this uh, tool carriage between left and right. On the left and the right side, you have limit switches, X left, XL, X right, XR. And you have an additional uh, switch. You can, you can uh, stop the motion. You can see here if this XS stands for start and stop, XS is zero, then it will stop. XS is one, then uh, the, the carriage 
will be moved in the same direction, maybe to the left side or to the right side. At first, I try, I will start this experiment. This is a, this is a so called experiment control panel, the user interface of our of our remote lab here you can see our three axis portal and we have to move uh, this carriage between left and right we have a left and the right uh, limit switch at first i want to try uh, to control the engines with simple constants for instance uh, here we can see uh, to the right is uh, y zero to the left is y one. Let's let's uh, go to the right side. I will try with a constant, and we will see. We can see movement is to the right side, but the constant is is always on. The the engine is always running, but now our protection our protection will stop the experiment. Otherwise. This model could be damaged. So with a constant, it doesn't work. The second uh, task is maybe we can use uh, the limit switch on the left side. You can see limit switch on the left side is x1. So we can we can control the engine until this limit switch is not reached. Hmm? Here we just did. So we will we will start, and we can see motion to the left side. And now, depending on this sensor, you can see here. Now the sensor is zero. That's why it's one. Now the sensor is one. That's why this will reduce a zero, and the motion will be stopped. But the task was to drive between left and right. So we can try, okay, to the right side, this was zero, x zero. Yeah, we can try. And the protection will stop again. Motor is driven in both directions. This is not allowed, and that's why this simple combinational yeah, descriptions, we cannot control this engine. That's why we need an additional information. And this information uh, are our states. For, for our task, we, we need two of these states. State zero means the motion is to the left side and state one is the motion is to the right side. And here we have conditions between the states, how I can change between zero and one. And here you can see, uh, we will drive to the left side until the left limit switch is not activated. When the limit switch will be activated, x left is one, then we have to shift to the uh, state number one. This means motion to the right side. Yeah, and how long we will stay in this state, this is also very easy, as long as we are not uh, on the right limit switch, that's why this condition and when we reach the right limits which it's right then we will go back to the to the left side so and to stop the engine when we go to the left side this is yl as a motion as the engine signal to drive to the left side this depends on our on our uh, switch x start stop if the switch is activated, then 
uh, y0 is 1 and the motion is to the left side. When the limit switch is 0, then this will stop the motion to the left side. And the same on the right side, the engine yr is also, uh, it depends on this switch xs. And now uh, we can try to, to use another tool of our remote lab. This is called a gift. Gift means this is a graphical, uh, gift stands for graphical interactive finite state machine tools. I will create a new uh, example. I uh, can define the operators because we are using this tool for, for, for different design tools and each design tool, you know, this has its own operators. For our remote lab, we need this for and, or is okay, and this is for not. And I can say, okay, I have XL for left, XR for right, and XS is this for start and stop. And the same for the output variables, Y, L to go to the left, and this to the right side. Ah, I forgot to save. Close door. Okay, and I can draw the automatic graph here, but I think for me the simplest way is to to um, uh, put these transitions directly to the transition matrix. We only we we, we only need two states, but we need three all our three input variables, and we also need. Uh, to output variables. So from zero to zero, it means uh, left is not on the left side. From zero to uh, one, from left to right, when I reach the left limit switch, from one to zero, back to the left side, I use XR and here not XR. And the output, Zero uh, set zero is for the left. I need xs, and set one is for the right. Also xs. At first, we can simulate our design uh, before we want to upload this to the road lab. We have here a small simulator. So xs is zero. This means the uh, engine. Uh, both engines are stopped. And in this case, we will go to the left side with a left mode, uh, engine signal and assume we are on the left side. This is a left uh, limit switch. We will switch the motion to the right side and let's stop the motion with XS and both engines are off and now let's continue the motion to the right side and so on. So we see the simulation is okay. We can also uh, see the, uh, the resulting automaton uh, graph left side, right side with the uh, conditions, how to change the states. And now we can we can export this design to the remote lab, to the experiment control panel. While the local storage of our browser, now we can switch to the three access portal. I will, I will delete this that you can see. It's really our design from GIF. I will import this from the GIF. So I must modify uh, the right limit switch. This is okay. The left limit switch is in our for our hardware model is this one x1 xs. This is the user switch. This is the user button x9. 
And here YL is a left engine signal, this right is okay. This is our design and now we can try to start the experiment. The limit switch is off. Now we can activate and we can see the behavior is the same we want to have. Yeah, we can stop and start. This is this is the first. Oops. Uh, the first experiment I want to show. We can stop. I can I can show you. Uh, we have here some some equations. We can see the same equations. Also, also here, and you can use these equations to draw a schematic to produce a small PCB. And for that, we have another tool. This is not. This is called Beast. This is an. Um, this is, an, an, uh, this is an old design from yesterday. This is an uh, PCB editor. I will import uh, my uh, design. This is the design, this is a schematic. This is a um, finite state machine. The next state function is here, a flip-flop to, uh, uh, to, to save the, the states. And this is a small output functions. I can, I can draw this schematic. You will find here all the uh, components you need for for that, I will show you later in another example with this beast uh, system. So, and then we can go to the uh, remote lab as well. And now I will choose the beast as a virtual control unit to also control uh, this uh, three axis portal. The task is the same. I can open Beast and I can load my schematic. This is the same schematic. And now I can switch this between this view. Here you can observe the, the input and output signals. And I can start the experiment now, the mechanical hardware model will be controlled uh, through this uh, schematic. And we can switch. So we can see now it was the right limit switch. That's why we changed the direction. I also can stop. We can see that I will stop the motion. I can continue. And we will reach the left limit switch. We can see it also here left, and we will change the directions. All these we can do with this beast in this experiment. And now I will show you another example with another with another. Uh, Tool with another interactive learning object. This is our SANE. Here, this uh, I I will use this uh, tool to teach the basics in digital logic design and. 
In this case, we want to design together with the students in the lecture and, uh, and seven segment display. We have a seven, uh, seven segment decoder. We have, have a seven segment display. I can show you this in Beast. We have this here. I will place it here. Uh, we have here all the seven segments, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. And we have to generate the, the signals to activate segment A, B, C, and so on. This is a, this is a task. Where is my here? So that's why we need uh, we need um, seven input variables. One, uh, four, four, four. We need seven output variables. A, B, C, D, E, F, and and G. And for seven segment display for. To, to display zero to nine or zero to F hexadecimal, also possible. We need four input variables. So, and for instance, uh, the, the segment E, as uh, a segment A, is this Y, Y zero, to display is zero. What we need? Uh, to display a zero. A, B, C, D, E, and G. G must be, uh, no, A, B, C, D, E, F, G must be uh, deactivated. These segments are active and uh, then we will generate a zero on the on the display. So we, we prepared, I will not do it for, for every, uh, for every function. We can enter this via the so-called function index. So we must enter this for the next seven, nine, F. Let's do more for listen. Try F B F B seven F six six D D F D D F D F D F D F D EF, EF, C, 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 and the last is Stern. Ah, this we don't need. Okay, so we have the, the complete three table now. We can uh, show the the functions here. You can have all the functions for all variables, and now. I can uh, copy and paste these functions. You can see with a mouse over, the display will be changed from the LaTeX not notation to a notation we can copy and paste. For instance, for zero. Oh, zero one is false. Why? Ah. Ah, this is ah, uh, this is a mistake. You understand? Okay, we need D seven D. Okay, now I hope this is so, this is perfect. So ah, uh, it's a different equation. Yeah. Okay, now I can copy, for instance, zero so, notate as an equation for zero y zero. 
control C. And now I can go to the beast and I will create a new component. A new component. And I can enter here all the, the outputs we need. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We need uh, one. Bau ich hier was rein dann? Nichts von da. It's zero for instance. So. And I will, I will paste here the first expression. Now I will copy and paste this uh, from a predefined text. File, Control C, Control V, the third. Oops, this one. Normally, you will do it from the same, but this is a little bit shorter. I have a text. Document where from which I copy this. So we can here seven segment the coder. Now I can submit. So I must uh, create a new project. And where who is it? The Martin project. Oh, I, 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 I deleted my project. Uh, yeah, huh? What's yet? I I will, I will uh, import this from. Uh, uh, I have it. X two C. Yeah, yeah. I, I <laughs> sorry, I deleted my, my own component. Yeah, normally you will find here the, the component we created. I entered all the equations, and here you can see. Yeah. Hmm? Ah, yeah. Uh, you can you can see all the all the equations for each segment. This will generate it automatically by the by the beast system, and uh, then I can I can place some uh, toggle buttons here, connect all these buttons, have a seven segment display, and now I can try to to check uh, check if all so these uh, segments are running well. One, three, seven. This is a four hex. Then it works uh, perfect. You can also generate a decoder for nine to uh, for zero to nine for a binary uh, for a decimal display. Yes, yeah, this was. Um, an example for a combinational design. If you have, for instance, a task to design a stopwatch, for instance, you also have to create a counter. For that, you can also uh, use our, our gift system. So you can create a counter and you can copy and paste the equations from the gift to the beast, create a counter, and you can check this as well. I will show you another possibility how to create a counter, for instance. So I must have a look if this is correct. This was not the right. I prepared another example. I must choose uh, this one. This is also uh, nearly the same task to create a seven-segment uh, decoder and a counter. 
In this case, we are using a finite st and an FPGA. In our remote lab, we have a digital uh, demo board there, but at first you have to create the components. We, uh, we give the students a template with all the, the inputs and, and outputs. Here you can see the segments from the segment from the seven segment displays. And you can uh, have to create the seven segment decoder. You can do it, for instance, in this case, as a schematic. You have to draw this, uh, this schematic. It's not so easy. You need a lot of time. But um, finally, it must, it must, must work. You can also use um, finite um, VHDL description for the decoder. In this case, you can write uh, VHDL code. This is, uh, these are two different uh, possibilities for the segment decoders. And the, the counter, you can use the uh, automaton graph editor from Quartus, from Quartus Prime, and from this design, the VHDL code will automatically generate it in the background. You, uh, you can uh, place this in your template, connect all the, all the parts, and then you have to compile it. I will uh, not compile it now, I did it yesterday because it uh, takes a lot of uh, time. And then you can go to the remote lab. I will close uh, this. And now I will choose our digital demo board. We have this board in the face-to-face, in the, -face, the hands-on labs as well as, as a web-based version here in our remote lab. For that, you must remove all the input components because we want to uh, control all the inputs via our virtual model here. So at first, I have to upload my generated binary file from the, from the Quartus. I have this here. This is a, the counter example. I compiled it. This it. Now this uh, binary file will upload it to the remote lab. And then the FPGA will be automatically programmed in the background. So and now, I can start the experiment. And here, this is my, my push button to check the displays. We, we have seen we have a seven segment decoder with a schematic and two different versions with a VHDL design. That's why we have a, Three, three of these seven segment displays. I can reset this. This is a simple task. We are using this in the first semester for our students. I can I can all you uh, show you another example. This is an rotary encoder. The we are using in our remote lab also a lot of uh, rotary encoders, and here you can you can use this. 
control with the left and right. You can rotate the encoder and you can see here the, the two signals which will, will be generated from the decoder and the automaton graph will, will produce the control of these. I can show you the design. This was the first I open this is the, the rotary encoder example. You can create this with a final state machine. Here we have a standard uh, 74192. These are up and down counters. We have two counters. That's why we have seen two of these uh, seven segment uh, displays. And here is my small rotary encoder finite state machine design. I entered in the automated graph in, in quarters and uh, from this design, this uh, VHDL code will be generated automatically and I place it here. Have my, have uh, these um, seven segment decoders. These are the same seven segment decoders and here I can observe the behavior if everything is running fine. Uh, all these examples were more uh, hardware-oriented design for a more software-oriented design. You can uh, also write C code, for instance. For that, you can you can use uh, Admiral Studio, for instance. And this is the same example. Our our uh, portal crane uh, example. This is implemented in C. This is final state machine. But you you don't um, you you can also write other C code, not not only final state machine code. Yeah, in, but this example this is in final state machine. Yeah, you can. Do it at home, then you can compile this and then you can go to the remote lab. And now we will start the microcontroller. I also uh, will choose the, the three axis portal because it's the same design task. And now I can load my generated hex file. I compiled some minutes ago. I must go to the Admel folder, portal crane, and here's my hex file generated from today. I will open this, upload this to the remote lab, and the microcontroller will be programmed automatically in the background now. So, microcontroller is programmed, and then I hope. We will see the same behavior. Now the electromechanical hardware model is controlled by the microcontroller. Yeah, you can. Uh, I can show you the internal structure of our remote lab. On the one side, you have seen our. Uh, now on the bottom, here's a different control units, microcontroller, FPGA, and so on, and our, our hardware models, and you have a switch to control the microcontroller with a three-axis portal or the FPGA with a three-axis portal or the FPGA design. This is the internal uh, structure behind. Yeah, these are a microcontroller design. Actually, you have seen, I have another slide prepared. Here you have all our different design flows. You will, you will get a control task. You will specify your design. Yeah with C, C++, assembler, or Arduino, or 
VHDL or schematic or finite state machine or as a schematic in Beast by using different tools. And actually, actually, you have to use our own interactive learning objects, gift, beast, and so on, or you have to use third-party tools. Yeah, we have seen the Admiral Studio, or Admiral Studio you can use for Arduino as well, or for hardware-oriented design, you have to use the Quartus uh, Prime uh, tool. These are very powerful tools, a lot of gigabytes when you install it on your own PC and not easy to handle these tools, especially for, for beginners. And that's why we are working to shift this functionality from these third-party tools to the server side in the background. For that, we are using an own web editor called White. I will show you this um, in one minute. Yeah, and the only the only tool you have to use is the White for all these designs. And the compilation will be will be uh, done in the background on the server side. We have a tool chain for each uh, design, software oriented, hardware oriented. That's why the students can can concentrate only on the pure design of the of the control task, not. Uh, how to handle these powerful tools. I will give you a first example. We are actually working on, on that. So this means if we want to, to use, for instance, an Arduino example with a um, business three axis portal. Uh, let's use the same hardware model. You must select, uh, you must open the white and you must select this hardware model. This means that you will block this hardware model for, yeah, for the whole time you need for your design, for instance, for one hour, for two hours. Other students cannot use in the same time our hardware model. That's why we decided to. Uh, to offer white as a standalone application. Now you have all the time you need. For instance, here you can see we have the same uh, user design. This is in the web browser. Uh, this is the white uh, web edit web IDE, the abbreviation. Yeah, you can you can uh, load examples, you can save your examples. And this is the example for the same uh, C code. So when we when we are ready with our design, we can try to compile it. Then this design will be sent to the to the server and the design will be compiled on the back end and the result will be sent back to the to the wide. I hope you will have success. Yeah, compilation succeeded. And now we can we can go uh, to the remote lab. Ah this was this was uh, this was a microcontroller we can use. Yes, now, now I will uh, reserve the microcontroller for the three axis portal, will open my, my white. Here I have my design I prepared uh, before, and now I can compile as well and upload this design 
the hex file, the generated hex file to the microcontroller. And I hope we can see the same. Ah, this is another. Uh, this is another example. This is not the portal crane in this case. This is was an example running circles, I think. Yeah. Mm -hmm. hmm? Oh, yeah, this, this is another task. Yeah. I think this was not implemented as an automaton. Automaton. But it doesn't matter. It's uh, another design task. So we also offer Arduino examples for that. Oh, might yeah. Here I have an Arduino example. I prepared it uh, with a standalone version of this white. Here we can see the simple Arduino code, digital write, digital uh, read. And I also can compile or upload and then upload it to the remote lab. This must be the same example, I think. You will see. Ah, this is an example uh, for a more complex uh, design. The task is to move to move this carriage as fast as possible to the lower left corner. Then on the lower, lower uh, left side to the upper corner and then to the upper right corner and then the motion has been stopped. And to start the motion, we also use this button, but we don't use it in this case that we can start and stop the, the motion. We will only activate the motion with a, with a high, low edge of this uh, switch. If we change between one and zero, then the motion will be started. Actually, it's zero. Now it's one. And now if I switch to zero, then the motion will be started as fast as possible to this corner. Meanwhile, this will not affect our motion then to the right side and then the motion must be must be stopped and i can restart the motion and then so I will show you that uh, you have seen some of our some of our um, interactive learning modules. I can show you that I use this is in German. This is in, in Moodle. In our Moodle, I have a, a tutorial for technical informatics and digital system design and here we explain all the theory this is a multiplexer for instance multiplexer team multiplexer and you can you can uh, you can select an example for a multiplexer from Moodle directly to our to our uh, Beast. Ah, here. Uh, this is an example for a full adder. I will I will explain in the lecture uh, how to create uh, this uh, true table for a full adder. 
And here you have uh, this is a bit from the number A, bit from the number B, and and carry, for instance, zero plus zero plus zero, the sum is zero, carry also zero. Uh, we are using multiplexer to uh, um, yeah, realize this uh, this full adder, we we program a zero or a one to the inputs, and with uh, with these variables, I can address which input will be connected to the output. For instance, when I will uh, calculate zero plus zero plus one, then the sum is one. This means uh, zero, zero, one. This is this input, which will be connected to the output. Zero, zero, one. Here we have a zero. That's why a zero will be connected to the output uh, zero plus one plus one is zero but we have a carry and you all know this one plus one plus one is one with a counter you can play with this example you can modify this example but these examples will be automatically open from our Moodle website. So these were some impressions of how to use our, our uh, learning, our interactive learning uh, uh, objects. You, I can I can show you also that we, we only use this three axis model. We have also examples uh, for for much more complex designs. This is a production cell, and here we have parallel automata. For instance, this with a single brick with four parallel. Automator, I will load these examples. Here you can see we have a lot of, of engines here, a lot of actuators, and we have a lot of uh, sensors we can we can use for the design. And I hope this will activate. Yes, the task is running in a in a circle in this case. Yes, yes. Here you can see different engines and you can see in what is the current state of each of these four engines you can observe in which uh, state each final state machine is running actually yeah okay so i will stop see this engine you can create uh, c c plus plus arduino or vhdl code for this Design. So that was our presentation.